A months long investigation by Jupiter Police Department has led to the arrest of a 70 year old man. He's charged with downloading and possessing child pornography. But the real surprise is who the suspect is. CBS 12's Katie Benty joining us live tonight in Jupiter with the details on that story. Jim, part of being a good doctor is being able to earn your patient's trust, but that trust has been broken for many who know Thomas Lippin. He's a well-respected doctor out of Jupiter who's now being held here at the county jail. Now, he's been practicing in Jupiter for decades, which is why the news of his crime may be shocking for many. This is the face of Dr. Thomas Lippin, a well-known ENT with his own practice in Jupiter. His official website notes his many accomplishments over the last 30 years treating both children and adults in the community. Distinguished Citizen Award from Boy Scouts of America and Chairman of the Board for Jupiter Medical Center. But allegations of Lippin transferring and downloading child sexual abuse material has landed him behind bars. In a statement, Jupiter Medical tells us Lippin no longer works with them and his privileges at their facilities have been revoked. The fallout comes after a six month long investigation where Jupiter police reportedly found more than 15 files of child pornography downloaded on multiple devices belonging to Lippin. Officers noting some of the children appeared as young as five years old. According to the police report, the 70 year old man told officers when he sees an image he likes, he sends it to himself via email from one device to another. It could be from his phone to his computer to get it off his phone to his computer or vice versa. But regardless, transferring illegal material between devices you own or control doesn't make it any better. And there's going to be systems that are in place that are going to catch these things. The National Center of Missing and Exploited Children received a cyber tip late last year from the well-known service provider Apple. The company claimed one of their users had uploaded a handful of suspected child pornographic files. Tech expert Craig Agronoff tells us likely at least one of those images is already in a known database created to monitor for illegal content. It's always like the digital fingerprints, if that makes sense. So when someone sends or receives the files through the platform monitored by Apple, um, iCloud or any other email service like Gmail, the system scans these files within a millisecond to see if those hashes match any in the database of known child abuse material. Once an account is flagged, the content is vetted, and only if there's reason to believe it's child sexual abuse material is it turned over to the authorities. Lippin is being held here on a $50,000 bond. He was also ordered to surrender his passport, have no access to the Internet, or speak with anyone under the age of 18, including family members. Reporting live in Palm Beach County, I'm Katie Benty, CBS 12 News.